What is going on guys? Canadian or Unique here and we are playing some Hot Pixel Warlords and this is the day we switch. Now. Now. Alright. So, we are Avenger. Do I know the skills to this class? Not quite. We're gonna figure this out. So, I know there's a Consecrate, consecrate Wave. Uh, Consecrate the ground below your feet, declaring it sacred. So this is where you run, and people running behind you will get hit. You become infused with light, storing 43 energy and increasing your movement speed. So that increases movement speed and gives me energy. Holy Radiance, heal me and my people around me. Burst of incredible holy power. Strike to hit up two additional two enemies and strike the targeted enemy player. All right, let's just go. Uh, we are going to hop into a CTF mini because, yeah, I think this is where I could see myself using this the most. Uh, but yeah, once again, uh, this is my first time using Paladin, so I'm not sure what to expect. I am at level 29, that's because I've been upgrading it with my Warlord Smola. So let's just wait for this timer to go down to about three seconds, then we'll get into it. All right, so we're starting here in four seconds. I'm just gonna quickly go over. So this is Consecrate. When I use this, anyone running behind me will get uh, damaged. If I use this, this will give me 40 energy per second, and it lasts a couple seconds, I believe, and it increases movement speed. This will heal me and my people around me, and this increases boost. So, I'm, um, I'm not quite sure how to use this yet, guys. Not effectively. Uh, so I'm assuming what I should use. Okay, right now, holy radiance. I should probably heal a bit. Okay, so this will give me a light infusion, give me, me some more energy and a bit more speed so I can catch up to this guy and if I run circle around this guy and he runs into the area that I'm in or if anybody's chasing me they will get damaged so keep running behind me that gives me a bit of a heal and a bit of a speed boost and some energy uh, it didn't really do too much but uh, I'm just trying to get used to these skills here all right, I'm also gonna try and pay attention to the flag as much as possible. Uh, what team are we on? I'm not quite sure yet. Blue team, uh, both flags are stolen, so I'm going to try and avenge our flag and kill him, because you know I'm the avenge class. Ah, see what I did there? All right, so that's an AFK blue, not an AFK, a clogged blue. Clogged, or just a logged out blue. Now. This will give me damage, and the light fusion will boost my speed. Heal myself a wee bit. Ah, uh, that Consecrate wave wasn't- Oh, that guy on the horse might follow behind me, so it might be worth it. Do-do-do. Okay, we got him. Light infusion. Ah, uh, that was the wrong one. I didn't mean to use that. That just gives me energy. Uh, there's no one following behind me. Give myself a bit of health. Okay. This this isn't taking too long to figure out. As long as I remind myself what the abilities do here. So, red flag is dropped. And that'll give me a bit of energy so I can use my right click ability. Uh, give myself a bit of a heal. Consecrate so the guy behind me gets damaged. Okay. Okay, I returned it. Consecrate. Now run. I will now run. Get a bit of a movement speed. And just go in. Going for the bump. Is there anyone behind me? Not quite. I'll use this though. I, looks like that guy's going to follow behind me. Which he is. I forgot that wasn't uh, Berserk so it doesn't give me any speed. But I think I can use it to take down this guy. Okay. This gives me a bit of speed though. Alright, so that being said, anybody behind me, no need to use my consecrate. Heal myself a wee bit. 
let that guy run. Now, our flag is stolen, and there's a save. That's not what I like. Picked up the red flag. Good. Now, I want to go over and try and make sure our flag stays safe. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to have to go up and around. Up and around. Red flag is dropped. Not quite returned yet. Okay, captured the blue flag. That sucks. So they captured blue. We need to get over here and see if we can capture a flag. Paladin seems like a decent class for flag capturing, to be honest. So, let's hope so. Okay, I just used all my abilities. Run behind me, folks. Run behind me, please. Oh my god. Consecrate. Okay, keep running behind me. Keep running behind me. No. 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 Keep running behind me. Bit of speed. Bit of a heal. Alright. Run behind me, folks. Alright. I can see where this class is useful. Definitely, right here. Okay. Please, team. Please, team. Please, team. Please, team. No, no. They returned it. That sucks. I have to keep on constantly reminding my teammates, or just any of you guys, if you guys are watching, and you see your teammate low with a flag, spam click your teammate rather than the flag, I mean, yeah, spam click your teammate with the flag rather than the enemies, because if, if your enemies, yeah, if it's, I don't know what I'm doing here, if, if your teammate's low and you spam the flag, you're more likely to pick up the flag when he dies, rather than then returning it, and you can continue off on with the job that he did all right so our flag is stolen again so I'm gonna try and get it, it looks like blues gonna win here uh, looks like they do have the higher class 87 68 and we got quite a few low levels so I'm gonna go and try and well I will catch up to this guy I don't know if it's gonna work he has a couple teammates here helping him consecrate wave bit of healing there wasn't really necessary right yet but this guy knows he's low, and I returned it, so consecrate, follow behind me for those folks. Okay, those are both red, so I'm just, no point doing that. Give myself a bit of an energy, and run, heal myself a bit, okay, healed myself a bit. Alright, this paladin's pretty fun, I gotta admit. It's fun. It's going to take a bit of getting used to to find the strengths and the uh, abilities that I can use to get away easier. And just get used to clicking the right abilities without having to think of them. Because I find if I talk, I can't do both at once like that. I just wasted all my abilities because I'm talking and focusing on the flag. So I just need to try and keep focus as much as I can, I guess. Okay. Making the ground below me sacred, so keep running around people I don't think I can do anything here no he definitely got me there uh, our flag stolen again this is a constant steal of our flag and usually when this happens there's nothing you can do it just shows your team's not defending and there's a lot of them over here at the flag if you're constantly having them rob it so what you want to do here waste all your abilities well don't waste all your abilities but yeah, uh, I'm just wasting my abilities because I don't know what to do quite yet. I know what to do with that, though, because it's helpful for the people that are behind me. Consecrate. Now, keep running in circles. I don't need that Holy Radiance right now, to be honest. I could use this. This is the Holy Radiance. And then I could use the energy right now when I want to damage this guy, when I want the bit of energy for my right-click ability. Alright, that's good. Picked up the red flag. Ours is safe. Circle this guy with Consecrate. And turn on my Wrath. And just slay. Slay. He's slayed. Heal ourselves a wee bit. Our flag is stolen. So, where's the guy with our flag here? We're doing quite a bit more defending, but... If I can allow my team to get a flag, and if they can get a flag, we shouldn't do too bad. It all depends on where this flag carrier is going to be coming down. Right there is the flag carrier, I'd presume. 
Use that bit of healing. 617 I got. It's not too, too bad. I mean... Okay, that's my teammate. So where's our flag stolen at? I'm not sure where our flag is. Oh, it's already made it across. So, that being said, we have to go do something about this ASAP. What we can do, I'm not sure. Let's see how long the horse lets me run up. Okay. Run behind me. Run behind me. Come on. No, they're catching up way too quick. No, we're screwed. They got our flag. Now, the last time I played Capture the Flag, this happened. A similar, a similar thing happened. And I have a feeling it's because of the dying warlord. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, what happened was I just ran out of space on my recording SSD. And now I'm recording onto a regular hard disk drive, which I don't usually like doing because it's getting old and it's ready to die. So, yeah, I don't like... I don't want to save as much discs disk space and read and write cycles that I can even though it's not an SSD it kind of works the same way I'm gonna use my wrath here take down this guy so yeah that's what just happened luckily I do have this drive though so we can continue it uh, I'm hoping it won't be recording with any lag uh, it is recording in lossless so it it takes a, a decent amount of write speed to do it uh, hmm our flag is stolen our flag is right here, so I'm gonna go get our flag. I'm gonna try and make sure it doesn't get back again. That'll be a bit depressing. Consecrate. He has his teammate, which is doing a smart idea, which is going down before him. And my teammates look like they're unaware that our flag is stolen. <laughs> it's kind of comical, to be honest. But at the same time, I kind of wish I was on this team. <laughs> it's fine. A loss ain't anything on Warlords. For me, just playing Warlords is fun. Getting the kills. Doing some attacking. I'm never really too worried about the winning. Although it is nice on your uh, on your statistics there. Uh, so yeah, they're going to get our flag. And then it's going to be basically, yeah... Basically GG, I would say. We ended up getting top damage. That's one of the reasons being that Red was spending so much time getting the flag. And the other reason being that my team, I feel like once again, was off to a tea party. But that is alright. That was the first game as a paladin and I think it was actually pretty, pretty alright. I was kind of worried about starting a new class because of how, how deep... I am into warlord. I mean, warrior. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, I was kind of worried, but at the same time, I'm gonna play a bit off screen now and get a bit of practice. But I want to show you guys the first gameplay with Paladin, and just pretty fun. We already got it level 29 thanks to how much it costs to upgrade warlords. I mean, warrior. I keep calling warrior warlords, and I was just like, yeah, I don't want to upgrade it at that cost because it's like. 21k per upgrade now so yeah <laughs> so we're gonna upgrade paladin now and then move through the classes which we haven't done yet and we've had uh 10 episodes with warrior we will do 10 episodes with paladin and then i think the next class i'm going to try is mage anyways guys if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and i will see you next time have a great day